Welcome to the Group Chat Chronicles. I'm your host, Dev. With me this episode, I have Leek. What's up, Leek? Yo, what's up, good people? And on this podcast, we always give our own takes on a lot of topics. And as always, I want to thank all the listeners and the viewers for supporting. And as you guys know, before we start the podcast, we always be we always go over what we have been tuned into, whether it be music, movies, books, TV shows, other podcasts. So, Leek, what have you been tuned into as of late? I ain't gonna lie, I hope I said nothing. Yeah, same. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I mean, like, outside the stuff I've been listening to. Right. <laughs> and honestly, I ain't even been listening to that. Sometimes I'm kind of tired of that shit. So yeah, like, like, <laughs> like, for real, for real, Spotify playlist. Yeah. Early 2000s. Yeah. I mean, Don Tyler dropped the song. It was, I was, heard it. it that was, was his first miss. <laughs> <laughs> it's You know what's crazy? It's, it's like, it wasn't a miss because it, it is a decent song. It is, and I feel like, like it can go viral because it's you know the sample of the song and yeah. all that. But I'm me personally, if y'all don't know already, I'm just not that that much of fans of the samples. I'm like, not, I it, wouldn't. Like it's cool, but yeah, I like yeah, I like the samples. I like when you make your own shit. I mean, I, I like the samples where you kind of have to guess, like right. what it is, like just be like you gotta do it, homework on that. Yeah, shit. Like, like, yeah, what yeah, the fuck is yeah, that? Like, yeah, yeah, like nowadays it's like artists just take just damn near like tweak the beat. <laughs> a tad bit, so it's not Facts. directly that shit. Exactly. But yeah, I haven't been same old division. I mean, that division go hard. I, I was gonna say you keep that. You say that every episode. Nah, that shit go hard. That shit. Like, that shit go hard. Episodes. But nah, I mean, other than that, not literally nothing. <laughs> like nothing new. <laughs> but um, really spectacular. Going so on. moving on. So, um, Thanksgiving just recently passed as of the recording of this episode. And, um, <laughs> hey, real good. Yeah. All Oklahoma. the swine. Let me stop. <laughs> wow. Joking. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, nah, yo, no, nah, yo, because nah, yo, cause when I tweeted that, you was like, you, you, you going to reply saying you not as if I'm tweaking not eating swine. I ain't going to lie. I'm, eat, wrong with yo, you? I'm eating some glazed hair, bro. I don't wow. know what you're talking about. I'm getting my hair. Wow. <laughs> I'm oh, wow. It's Thanksgiving, bro. It's the, so? <laughs> it's Thanksgiving, bro. Wow. I ain't as disciplined. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so on Thanksgiving morning, um, Wallo, if you know who Wallo is, for a million dollars worth of game. Shout out to uh, him and Gilly. Word, shout out to a million dollars worth of game. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, this guy Wallo, <laughs> said that he rented out Target. <laughs> <laughs> he said he ran it out Target on Thanksgiving Day when Target was closed. And he had a gang of people lined up outside the store mad at him because the store was obviously closed because it's Thanksgiving. It's so, Thanksgiving. Lee, <laughs> how do you feel about that? I can be all the way honest. Go ahead. Man, that's their dumbass fault. <laughs> 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 I, I think that's the prime example of people looking at social media yeah. and like literally taking – Whoever influences word for it and just run it. Yeah. Like, it's Thanksgiving Day. Mm-hmm. Quick Google search. Maybe even a phone call to the Target <laughs> exactly. before you actually left. Yo, it was a mob of people. It had to be at least a couple hundred people. Out exactly, there. exactly. Like, come on, people. Like, I mean, y'all should know by now on like holidays like Thanksgiving and Christmas, the only thing is open is gas stations. You can't say that because the last couple of, like, Years prior, them shits was open at least for like they're open for like a little bit, then like closed nah, and then reopen. Nah, Royal Farm is open twenty four hours on Christmas. Well, no, no, no. I'm talking like even retail stores. Like realize COVID kind of shut that shit down. Oh no, I'm talking for like, COVID. Them man, Target probably was one of them ones open <laughs> on Thanksgiving for at least a little bit of time. I don't, were they? I don't think they were. I, I mean, know. I mean, I mean, they might have opened like at five o'clock, like early Black Friday shopping. But like I'm probably. talking like eight in the morning. Um, but no, nah, I don't know. Off topic. Speaking of gas stations, yo, I I, I used to hate working on Christmas location. <laughs> nah, cause nah, cause nah, cause nah, cause it'll be double pay. But because yeah, we were the only spot head. open, that, that was the busiest day of the year. Yeah. So it's like, like you like yo, I actually need help today. Like exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly. But nah, though, um, yeah, y'all should have known Target was closed. Facts. Like I don't, I don't, I don't know what to tell y'all. Like, it's just like why they didn't call though. Yeah. Like that's like common shit. Common exactly. Shit. Like why you didn't at least call? Like hey, let, let's see if someone answer the phone. Exactly. Y'all know <laughs> damn well Wallow don't work at Target, so why would y'all just assume he that shit open? Now let me ask you like a side question, like to play like kind of like devil's advocate a little bit. Do you think that probably fucked up his image a little bit? 
because Wild Lois was always like the honest guy, so to speak. <laughs> And yes, it's funny and comical, but like now to them couple hundred people, they like nigga, I can't trust your word for shit. They actually pulled up. You know how gas, how high gas is, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, cause like, I don't think uh, they should personally. I'm, I'm per- just, I mean, personally, I wouldn't have pulled up, but exactly. That's that's, that's, that's why I'm <laughs> that's why I'm looking at it. But like, I don't to them maybe. To me, nah. Like, I that's mean. Crazy. For one, like, the fuck you need that target that bad? <laughs> oh, man. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, you might need some odds and ends. Like, and, like, grocery stores. Well, I don't know. Grocery stores here are open. But, like, yeah. if you need some odds and ends, I guess. But, like, to... You need some butter, yo. Butter, like, yeah. $5 a pack. <laughs> yeah, but, like, he <laughs> said he, he said he ran it out. <laughs> like, Christmas like, coming up. They like, shit, we gonna get uh, these toys. That shit, <laughs> man, whatever, It was about to rack up. Yo, Wallow fucked up for that, yo. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no people hurt. I know they hurt, bro. Yeah. That's like four dollars a cat. Yeah. He was spied out with Amber Rose too. Huh? He was spied out with Amber Rose. You ain't you ain't you ain't see that video of um I don't know I don't know if it's true or not, but um it was that it was a video of it was him, her and Gil. And Gil was like clowning him or whatever. And then um but you ain't but you you ain't but you ain't see the um See, see them together until okay. he got on the bus and told everybody to clown wallow. And he put the camera and they were standing on um, beside each other. So I don't know. Shout out to wallow. That's true, though. Don't do it, wallow. Damn, <laughs> Damn yo. Don't do it, wallow. Damn. But, um. <laughs> nah, Amber, cool. Bro, she did a. What is it called? What is it a, called? A bro? Slut, the walk? slut walk? What is it? It's for sexual liberation. Don't do it, Wilo. <laughs> 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 Don't do it. So moving on. So artist Sweetie dropped um an EP recently. Mm-hmm. Um and apparently it only sold two thousand copies. So Leek, how do you feel about that? I mean, shit. At least she sold something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I feel like overall it shows it shows one, the label probably don't yeah, that much of a fuck about it as an artist. <laughs> um, I mean, like two thousand, and you had how many followers she got? She got millions, bro. I ain't saying you know she was she was supposed to sell a million, but two thousand. I mean, no man. But it is just an EP at the same time, so it probably was like no know. real late, you know. Glorilla late probably roll out. I mean, Glorilla probably sold more. And she just dropped the EP. Hers was just an EP? Yeah. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> and shout out to Glorilla. Shout out to Glorilla. Love you, Glorilla. You, know, you already know we do. But nah. Hey, um, that's, yeah. But nah, I don't know. I don't know how much truth this this holds because 2000 just sound crazy. I ain't going to lie. Especially for somebody like her. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm not, I mean, I'm not saying she's like cream of the crop or nothing. No disrespect to Sweetie, but like 2000 though. Yeah, like it's like 2000. 2000, like damn. But um, straight streams. Like <laughs> I don't know. Like I really don't know how true that is. Like I mean, like I'm like, but like, do you fuck with Sweetie's music? No, I respect Sweetie though. I mean, I don't like, really she, know. like she, you know, she a woman on a hustle. Yeah. Um, I felt like like the whole Quavo and all that. They kind of definitely fucked up her image a little bit, um, but you know she she rolling out with it. And I mean, shout out to her management because like even right right after that, she was like maybe even like the second person to do the McDonald's job. Like, well, so I mean, she had the McDonald's meal. Yeah, you like, don't remember that? Like a year or two ago, not like that recently. Was, yeah, that was like after they broke up, right? It might have been during. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't know. But I mean, shout out to our management. Like they clearly doing something, and she she has some sort of influence. Yeah. So, shit, fuck and, it. Get and, a bag. I ain't uh, never gonna stop her. And I'm she getting a bag. And she was kind of on your side with the whole women running rap thing too. She's saying women are running rap right now. That's a fact. I mean, I don't. I wouldn't say they're running rap right now. I ain't Bro, gonna lie. Who? What male? Other than what Twenty One Savage and Drake, I guess you could say right now. Like, even it's sad to say, like, even, like, for Cole and Kendrick, like, that shit kind of died down a little bit. Like, I mean, they, they chanting on women's songs the most. I mean, they are. I'm, I wouldn't say they but it's like. And I feel like it's just going to get bigger. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I, I can see it. 
I can see it, like, growing, like I said before, mm-hmm. but I don't think they run it, right? Because, like, like, let's say, because, like, let's say if Kendrick drops, people are going to fuck with it. Cole drops, people are going to fuck with it. Like, it's it's like that, though, in my opinion. What but young male guy right now would, could match, like, Gorilla? Dirt. Bro, Gorilla just came out. Dirt been in the game for how long? Oh, you mean that just came yeah. out? Yeah. If we throwing Dirk out there and Dirk 10 years in, that's a problem. Define new. What? How long Gorilla been out? A year? Two years? Not even. That came out. They debuted this year. We say, I, I, let's give it a year and a half. Out of, out of the guys. All right, a year and a half. Out of the last year and a half. 2021. Who's? Ready? Yeah, I'm talking radio. I'm talking, you know what I mean? You can't say Jack Carlo. That's like 2020. 2019, really, he really been out. Niggas just leaked yeah. to him. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, could you say like Pooh Shiesty? Even though he in jail right now? He in jail. <laughs> uh, I mean, you Trying right. to tell you. <laughs> you right. But like, I'm talking about like as a whole though. Like everybody, not Bro, just I am too, yo. We keep going to jail and killing each other. That's going to be my stance on I that mean, every time. I mean, what about like the Dirks? The babies. The little little baby, not the baby. <laughs> They're like what? Even album wise, sophomores, seniors. I mean, but like they already kinda like I mean if, I mean if you you're talking say, strictly new. DP, like. I mean I mean I mean if you're talking strictly new. Okay, right. I'm with you. But like overall, no, nah, I don't think they're no. Nah. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, you're on their way, but overall, like, like it's, I feel like I ain't gonna lie. I feel like even for for like the sound of music, it's gonna be a drastic change. Like, yeah, folk like just get back and they having fun. I feel like it's just too much murder, murder, kill, kill. <laughs> it's a whole lot of that. Like, you literally got like in the hood now. Like, women are literally scared to like walk to their car, bro. Like, yeah, it's just crazy. It's crazy. It, is, it starts. It kind of, for me. I think. Yeah. Starts like kind of with the and entertainment, then, which you indulge in all the time. Yeah, and then Sweetie also said, she was talking about how rap has become more misogynistic or something like that. It's, 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 it was very ironic. She said that during the, it was it was either the day of or during the week of the anniversary of the classic album, Doggy Style. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you agree with that too? <laughs> to be real? Yeah. They got more misogynistic? <laughs> Almost, I'm not gonna say it got more. Yeah. Back then, maybe it was a little bit more vulgar, just a hair. Yeah. But at the same time, like, it was just looked at a different way. Yeah. Now I feel like it's because we're so used to it. Now, essentially, like since Doggy Style, maybe even before Doggy Style, I don't want to miss timestamp things. Yeah. But around that time, let's say, when that misogynistic music was going around shit it's just it never stopped really (laughs) so now it's like our norm but let's be real that type shit shouldn't be normal yeah no i don't know so i think that's more or less now it's just become so normal and it's like for some people that know better Mm -hmm. let's say it's just like whoa that's this ain't really right yeah that this feels normal now yeah yeah like yeah like i said i don't think it Grew. I just think, yeah, like we just yeah. got used to it. Like it been around. Facts. But it's just like, uh. <laughs> it's like, yo, what, what ain't we hear about that yeah, already? Like, I don't mean, this, I mean to say it got more misogynistic is kind of insane. Yeah. I don't like. I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like Drake and Twenty One were getting their shit off on that project, but like, yeah. n- niggas been talking shit like that like Facts. for years. <laughs> <laughs> Without a shadow of a doubt. All right. So, um, moving on. <laughs> So there was a TikTok of a video saying that <laughs> because men are so <laughs> men are so tired of women that men should start dating uh, other men. <laughs> and then there was a, a, a woman responded to that video saying that that a lot of men already don't really like women for real, for real. They just they, they just like to use them as like like sexual beings and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So Lee, how do you feel about this topic? <laughs> I mean, sad to say, she kind of right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and it's like, even from like us guys, right? Mm-hmm. Who are we to try to even like read, think her, 
on how she feels. She a woman. She actually yeah. deal with these niggas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you feel what I'm exactly. saying? Niggas act different around women when they when they around their guys. So it's yeah. like, yo, if that's been her experience in her area, like that shit could be real true. Yeah, that shit in the way. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it, it's just it, I feel like it's just sad. I feel like overall people are. Just the internet then then expose folk to so much. And yeah. people are curious and like you can kinda live out that curiousness and it kinda like fucked up the game a little bit for real for real. So like for for the women it is kinda for for like cause I even saw a video similar to like the point that she's trying to make and it was a guy that's basically like, yo, let's just marry each other. Like you can this is what this guy is saying for real. Like we basically it's a financial thing. You mm-hmm. can do what you do, but on the marriage side, let's just marry each other. <laughs> this is what he and even that thought is like, yo, but marriage is way more than just a financial thing, and you're, right. you're talking about really doing it for you know what I mean. Shit just yeah. be fucked up. Like morality ain't the same no more. Niggas ain't yeah. got no morals, no courtesy. I mean, folks just care about self. I mean, I'm not gonna say she wrong, but like. I mean, she not wrong, but she got a point. It's like I don't know, but I just she feel like some. Point. I feel like some. Some. It's just the fact that some guys they're not like attracted to men in that way. So it's like it just sounds crazy to them. But like y'all don't fuck with women, so like it's like, it's like y'all got an issue with women. Like it's crazy. But anything they do, let's just. Yeah. I see it, and it is. I just be taken back sometimes. Like. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. like, what's really going on? But, but yo, but, but, yo <laughs> but but like you said something. This is like off topic, but like you said something about like marriage and like financial. Mm-hmm. So like, <laughs> random questions. Like, how do you feel that there's some people out here that when it comes to marriage, love isn't the main focal point. <laughs> you saying love is the main vocal? Point? Isn't isn't the main focal point? Oh, I mean, that's like it. like security and all that other shit. Yeah, that shit important. corny. <laughs> it's corny Like I get it It's a survival tactic Yeah And marriage In today's time If I'm being all the way 100 It is pretty much A business transaction <sighs> But at the same time I grew up Christian base yeah. Spiritual base So like I get Love mm-hmm. In that way So like You do need both And I'm yeah. well aware of that But I'm always Always for Making your partner Better as well So like Just for an example if the woman may be better financially with, you know, paying bills, credit, X, Y, Z, than yeah. the man is, maybe she need to handle the shit. Yeah. Or vice versa. It's just all about figuring out what's going on with your relationship. You yeah. Know, what, what's better, best bet for your relationship. I don't know, because, like, whenever I see, this is some, like, social media shit, so take it with a grain of salt. But, like, right. it's <laughs> like, when I see people, when I see somebody, I, cause I seen somebody say, like, I don't. It was on along the lines of, well, I don't see how people can like not make love the foundation of their marriage or whatever. Mm-hmm. But and then people were on his ass talking about That's like wild to me. exactly, <laughs> exactly like damn, like you, like you loving somebody. I mean, you gonna marry somebody and you don't really love them. Like I don't like. like I, I just I, I just can't see how that see works. It as that business transaction, they see it as that security. It's a survival. Tactic. I mean, don't get me wrong. I feel like that has to be there. But like, I'm not marrying somebody. I, and and love, love. And, and love is not the top of the reason why I'm not I'm with them. Exactly. Cause yeah. love make everything even when shit fucked up, it, it help build everything back up. So exactly. If you ain't really got that, shit fuck up. She definitely gonna just lead divorce or he, cause it's them out there too. Yeah. You know they just gonna lead divorce and find the next victim type time. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. So like, I was, so all right, so another, so another off-topic question: How do you feel about people that don't want to be married? I'm not mad at that. Okay, Cause because I, I honestly feel like when it comes to marriage, like man, once I'm married, like that's it, ain't no divorce. So like, yeah. we together, my nigga. Yeah, I feel, <laughs> so I feel. <laughs> I gotta cross everything in my mind. Like, okay, that's you feel what I'm saying? So, yeah. I'm That's like, how I look at that. And, like, for a person, if they haven't found that one, you know, that that does it for them, quote, unquote, mm-hmm. then, hey, I, ca- I can't be mad at that because, like I said, once I'm in, I'm in. Ain't no out. So, 
that's kind of how I was raised too. Like great grandparents, it was married since it was. I don't want to miss age, but like 15, 16, like they yeah. were very young, and they died together very old, like yeah. the 80s and 90s type time. So that's like what I grew up around. So it is yeah. it's like that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because I thought I was tripping by saying I'm I'm not mad at that either. Yeah. No, hell no. no. <laughs> it's as as, as, you, as you would say, your favorite slot is all about preference. Yes. <laughs> How the fuck you say it like that, yo? You know, you're a professional ass nigga. No, right? what, yo? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is all about preference. Like, I ain't mad at that. Like, it just, yeah. I don't know. I just feel like society, like, it just, like, wants the whole world to be one thing, but it doesn't realize everybody different. Exactly. But anyway, so, oh, moving on. <laughs> so, oh. Um, I don't know what podcast this nigga sells. Saw this shit on. I heard this shit on. <laughs> but they said that rapper Fredo Bang. Shout if, out to Sellers, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if Fredo Bang <laughs> says he likes studs and they say he was on the DL. So, Lee, if a man likes studs, is he on the DL? I ain't going to lie. That's some shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, it's like, it raises the eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, I mean... Like a stud, usually <laughs> don't even fuck with. That. Wait, wait, before you go, if if that's not the proper term, we apologize. Yeah, we, we, we apologize. Sorry. We are sorry, but nah, because yeah, but yeah we, from my knowledge, studs don't fuck with niggas. Studs, yeah. they are niggas. I mean, shit, <laughs> so shit, shit, shit. You, you, so you, you ever like, seen a pregnant stud before? I did. Exactly. I did. It fucked me up, but see, but shorty after the they, she showed like the timeline, so yeah. like. She was young, thugged out, stud. Mm -hmm. But she was pregnant. Had the baby shower and all. <laughs> but, you know, that baby came out. She was just straight feminine wearing dresses and shit. Like, <clears throat> you know, afterwards. Yeah. But, like, that, be a stud. Have a baby. During the duration of your of, of the studness, you still on stud shit. Then after, you still on some stud shit. But me, I ain't never seen no shit like that. That's that's a unicorn right there. <laughs> Damn. That's that's different. I mean, I ain't gonna say you DL or anything, but that that is weird. Cause like I highly doubt you getting any ass from that shit. Like I, I, I just like, what are the chances? Like, don't get me wrong, I'm pretty sure there's studs that do that sneak dick and shit, whatever they wanna call it. But <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> but hey, I, like that's like slim to nothing, damn near. Like they not. That's di know. that's different, bro. I, that's that's the, different. I, like it's like this is like for that like for, for like for that for, for them to be the type of women you like. I, just, I don't know, yo. <laughs> like that. Like you, like, you just weird to me. Like you just not saying, getting no pussy yo, out of it. Like, like you just not. Just like the homie. That's not. I think that's that jail shit. <laughs> <laughs> yo, what, yo? I don't know. I think that might be some jail shit. Like niggas might be institutionalized or something. I don't know. That's that's. I don't know. I don't know. I, would, I, yeah, I, don't I fuck know. with some music though. We make good music. <laughs> he's he's insane. <laughs> Damn. So old. Oh. <laughs> yo, think about it. Cause like again, your stuff. That's like that's your nigga. You look at that choke. Like <laughs> you know what I, I mean. I mean, I, I get what you're saying. But they eight. Like, they still yeah, women so, at the end of the day, so I can't call them gay. I can't call. I can't. I can't say they on the DL, but it's just like, like you can't even. They like they don't like. They don't even I wear their jeans like like a girl would. They be like, yo, show me y'all. Like you feel what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> oh, no, how no. I don't. If I was saying if it don't make sense, <laughs> if it don't make sense, it just doesn't make sense. So, I mean, Fuck it. I, like I'm mean, best your preference. Cool. It's just like, I just, I just, I just. <laughs> I just can't foresee like that going down. Like that shit different, bro. Yeah. So, um, last topic, and we kind of touched on this like last on on the last episode. So, um, well, uh, Christmas coming up. Uh, do you you know how people like to give gifts and mm -hmm. receive gifts and all that? So, like, do you think as an adult, like, gifts matter? Like, should you like? If somebody gets you something that's like three hundred dollars, should you get them something as much as that <laughs> or more or shit like that? Right. So like, like you, should you over evaluate that even? Yeah. 
I mean, if, if we talk about the spirit of the holiday, it shouldn't be like that. Because yeah. an item is just an item at the yeah. end of the day. But, you know, in today's time, <laughs> <laughs> some people go through different struggles than others. So, like, one person might feel like, shoot, that's the end of a week's, a week's pay that I spent for you to get, let's say, these Jordans. Yeah. And as my... You know, man, woman, whatever. You pull up and you give me a twenty dollar robe from like Gabrielle's or some shit. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like I could kind of get it, but I don't know. I feel like if that's your love language, definitely do what you do. I'm a, I'm a gifter. Yeah. Um, but I was always also taught with gifting. If you give it, don't expect to gain anything back. Exactly. So, there's that. I mean, <laughs> all right. Like, if I. I don't know. Let's say I get somebody something that's like a hundred dollars. Right. I don't necessarily expect something of value, back. like at back. Right. But at the same time, if I know you got it, <laughs> <laughs> but and sometimes you don't know. I mean, I mean, like, but if I if I hundred percent know for for sure, no, you got it. Shit, like. If I and, and I know that you have it, and you give me some bullshit. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not the type of nigga that like, wants gifts for real, for real. Right. But at the same time, like, come on now. But like, but like, but like, if but if I know you don't really got it or like, that's totally. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I'm not tripping. But like, if I know you could have got me something better, come on now. Yeah. I don't know. That's just how I think about it. Yeah. Like, I definitely feel like if you're if you are a gifter, and you get a gift, and you yeah. definitely planned on giving that person, you know, the person that gave you a gift a gift. Yeah. Definitely just match energy. Yeah, at least, at least try. Even if it's that. even if it's necessarily not um, something of value, at least let it be like sentimental. Yeah. Type time. Like yeah. at least let me, you know, little tear jerk or some shit. Yeah, like you know what I mean? yeah, like 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 questions like this is why I'm cool with gift cards for real, for real. Like Shout Jesus, out to gift cards. Jesus, like yeah, because now because cause, cause, cause now I got because I'm not a gifter like. I mean, I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll buy gifts, but, like, I ain't putting no thought into them shits. I'm just saying. Nah, because nah, cause it's like, I mean, I mean I, I'm going to get you something that you might like based off what you have told me. But, like, I'm right. not about to, like, I'm like, it's it, like it's kind of hard for me to go all out. That's how I feel. I, I, but, can, uh, I can respect that. But nah, I'm a little different, though. But yeah, but, that. yeah, but, that, but that, this is why I like gift cards. I don't yeah. care what y'all say about them not being thoughtful. I don't care. You can't go wrong with them shits. That's at a all. fact. But that's no. a big fact. Yeah. So um, so this ends uh this week's episode. And as y'all know, we give the world a final thought to give y'all. <laughs> 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 anyway, <laughs> so Lee, what what is y'all? So what what is your final thought? Oh man, uh, spread more love, not hate. Follow me on all socials at it's just leak. And I got a new song out called Info that's out now doing this thing. It's a dope song. You should check that out. So, oh, that, that. Uh, my final thought is, um, so like the twenty sixteen double XL freshman list. Mm-hmm. I like. I think that's like at least a top three, top two. That's a Uzi on it, right? Yeah. It, um. I just feel like a lot of people have them as like up there, mm-hmm. like like some like some like some people even say they're the best class. I think a lot of people say that because a lot of people counted them out when that shit came out, and now they're all flourishing. I think I think that uh, that class might have the best success story. Yeah, you can say that. But I ain't gonna say they're the best class. Nah, cause like cause like don't get me wrong, cause I I like. Cause I fucked with the class when it came out, but I at, definitely did not. Exactly, and like <laughs> mad people was like saying they, this shit ass da 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 da. But now it's like everybody on that list is like relevant today for something. Yeah, like you got and it's music related though, which is no, nah, it's not because not nah, because Dicky got Dave. He did his thing music. Yeah, yeah, don't wrong. He can Dave. rap. Yeah. I fuck with Dave. I ain't gonna lie. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, it's, oh no, I still got it's it. like comedy rap kind of, but like it's shit. Yeah, like, if you he really spit though. Like. Yeah, yeah, he do, he do. I mean, but like I still got the 2011 class over them for real, for real. That's like Meek Mac and them, right? Yeah, and then 2013 a sleeper. So those are my 2013. 2013 it was uh Travis, Schoolboy, Absol, Action, mm. Joey. 
Oh man, it was that that class only had like four non lyricists on the on the cover, and those like four non lyricists still like made a stamp. Yeah, because Travis, one of the hot, well, he was at some point was one of the hottest niggas out. Trinidad and Kirk Bangs one hit wonders. And then they had Cheeky, probably most one of the most influential, most influential artists. <laughs> yeah, so there is a. Oh yeah, no, I fuck with Travis. He just. I kind of fell off since 2018. Not because of, I'm not saying that because of the Astro World shit, but like he kind of. Yeah. It was definitely the Astro World shit. I mean, Astro World shit kind of fucked them up. Yeah, it did. That. You know, but no. Ain't gonna get into that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, though, that, that's my top three: 2011, 2013, and 2016. But 2016 gets a lot of praise because like a lot of y'all motherfuckers counted them out. Yeah. <laughs> let's keep it yeah. up. Let's, let's, let's be real honest here. But then they counted out Double XL that year type time. And they, they really, yeah. shit, they was right. It's That's f- why they the professionals. <laughs> <laughs> like, knowing, like knowing like 2018, 2015 was worse. But no. Nah. <laughs> we, oh, <laughs> <not. laughs> we already talked about that. So um, I would like to thank all of y'all for kicking it with us for however long we was here for. Um, Follow the socials, uh, GCC717 on Twitter. The Group Chat Chronicles on Facebook, Group Chat Chronicles 717 on Instagram and TikTok. Like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, shout out to Swanee Visuals on the Kim. Dinus. And we out. Peace.